Hey, what's up guys? This is Ian and welcome to another one of my videos. Alright, so previously I unboxed this Google Nest Wi-Fi and uh, now I'm going to set it up and show you guys how to set it up. At the same time, I'll show you the Wi-Fi speed. Now before I do that, I hope you guys can give me a thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for future videos. Alright, so let's start. Basically, when you plug in your um, Nest, okay, this is the router. First, you need to set up the router. Then you then you will set up the uh, Wi-Fi point. Now, in order to set up the the router, you need to uh, connect these two cables, which I've already done, the power cable and the LAN cable, and it's pretty straightforward. This LAN cable is the incoming internet uh, source from your ISP, which is your internet service provider. Connect that to this side of the port and then the power cord in the middle. That's it. Right, so once you connect to the port, uh, you will see a white light uh, pulse, pulsating, I would say. If it's uh, yellow or green, uh, it's not ready yet. So wait for the white light to pulsate. Once the white light is pulsating, then Go to your phone, okay, and download the Google Home app. So this is the Google Home app. And what you need to do is click on the plus sign, go to set up device, and then set up device in your home. And I'm going to choose my home network. And it will start to look for devices. And once it finds your router, it will prompt you. Okay, so here it says, Nest Wi-Fi router found. Would you like to set this up? And I'll tap on yes. And then it will ask you to scan for the QR code. So just turn your Nest router around and scan the QR code and it will start to connect. It will check the internet connection. Well, before I can finish my sentence, it's done. Okay, so where is this de device? This device is in the living room. Okay, I'll tap next. Wi-Fi name, I'll just put uh, Google uh, Nest Wi-Fi next and Wi-Fi password, I'll just give it a simple password okay and turn on Wi-Fi router and point usage stats, I'll just know uh, turn on Nest Wi-Fi cloud services. Oh, no thanks. And you'll start to create your Wi-Fi network. All right. Uh, give it some time. All right. It won't take long. And once everything is done, uh, you will then need to set up your um, additional Wi-Fi point, which is very simple as well. So I will not show you that process because that will bore you to death so I'm just going to show you how I set up the router the setup of the additional point is going to be the same right so uh, after which I'm going to show you um, the, the Wi-Fi network speed and based on that I hope that speed is fast enough for you guys so that you guys are convinced that this Wi-Fi mesh is good for your home so want to set up another Nest Wi-Fi device, I'll tap on yes and I'll be back in my video. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I finished uh, my setup and now I'm going to do a speed test. Now I'm going to, as you can see, I tested previously. I'm going to test it again. I'm now sitting next to my router and I'll press on test. I'm using the Google speed test. Um, app all right so it's running at 314 megabits per second on the download and 209 for upload and the latency is really good it's four mega milliseconds all right so i'm gonna go to my bedroom, my master bedroom, and do the test again. Okay, so now I'm in my bedroom, my master bedroom, 
and I have the Wi-Fi point here. Uh, the lighting here is not too good, so uh, please forgive me. I'm, I'm going to do the Wi-Fi test here. And here we go. And it's not really good, but good enough for me. It's peaking at about 50 plus. And it's 55.2 for download, download speed. And it's coming up to 53.4 for upload. And the latency is 7 milliseconds. Well, it says the internet speed is very fast, but it's not it's compared to the router, it's not really fast, but it's fast enough for me. Right, so this is the speed test for the uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi, the router, and now the, the point itself. I hope you guys like my video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell. All right, I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.